what it is, is this concept that if you combine a power movement with a strength movement, and, this, and the strength movement precedes the power movement, so you do a, uh, you do a, like a, a split squat, you do a split squat movement, and then you combine it with a power movement that involves similar muscle groups, like a jump split squat, then you, uh, then you, uh, you get more muscle cells involved in that exercise, you create more power. When you, uh, when, when, if we went straight into that split squat, there's a certain amount of nerves and muscle cells that are just asleep. They're just dead weight that just belong to the right. But if you proceed it with the strength movement, you essentially wake up those neurons, and you get those, uh, those muscle cells that are normally dead weight, you get them engaged, and so you create more power. Does that make sense? Yeah. And it's really, this is one of the hottest things in sports science right now. It's been studied like crazy. Over the last 10 years, especially out of, uh, out of uh, Germany and out of, uh, out of Great Britain, out of Australia, and now, now out of the U.S., it's been studied over and over and over and over. Absolutely real phenomena. You proceed a power movement with a strength movement, you get bigger power output. So that's, that's sort of at the core of this, uh, this PAP concept. Um, Kerry, can you roll that video? This is not rolling for me up here. I want people to see some of the, the variety of those moves. And you really, you can really, it can, it can involve almost any strength and power move, but the key is that similar muscle groups are engaged. Similar muscle group, groups from the strength movement into the power movement are engaged. So this is Tony at our place. Mm, good time. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, hop on the ball your foot in two directions for 30 seconds. It doesn't look like much. Now, why, why does the PAP program, the, the PAP aspects of P90X2, why did we build it so late into the program versus weave it throughout uh, three phases? Well, it's, I mean, it's intense training. I mean, it's really intense. It involves all these appropriate stuff, the feedback mechanism, lots of balance. I mean, your body has to be pretty engaged to be able to execute these movements. And so we want to build a base in strength, we build a base in plyometrics, we work on ground contacts a lot. How your foot interacts with the ground is incredibly important. These are, uh, I think these are, there's, some, there's athletes around, there's some other P90X programs. But, but uh, essentially you need, to, you need to build a foundation before you throw somebody into this uh, PAP type training. And we do that even with our athletes. You know, if we're bringing a pro athlete, we're going to do some foundation work before you throw them into these PAP circuits. Now, an athlete, okay, you know, somebody who has gotten to a specific level of the sport, make it through the collegiate ranks, get, you know, be with the best of the best, it shocks me. You would just expect that these guys would have this stuff dialed in. I mean, again, when I, when I talked to Isabella about when she would train with, uh, when she would train Marty Green and these Olympic runners and stuff, and to find out the degree to which she had to train them to explode out of the blocks and stuff, just the, the smallest moves that they still had to master. Um, is, is, that what, is, is that what they're coming to you for? And it's hard for me to believe then that a DVD program could actually be that valuable to, to these guys at this level. You know, like, like I said a minute ago, um, we've had uh, pro athletes in almost every sport show up at our place and tell us that they've been doing P90X. Uh, Woo! And, 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 and once I started, and when I, once we started talking about getting involved and me taking over the scientific advisory board, and then after I committed to this, when I hear that, I start laughing a little bit. You know, they see me giggling. And, and usually the response is something like, no, that's a real shit, man. That's, that's a real shit. <laughs>